Florida and pizza is on the menu. Yes, so when I was in New York a couple of weeks ago, I, want to, I went to one of my favourite pizzerias called Roberta's Pizzeria in Brooklyn. Shout out if you happen to be watching. <laughs> um, and they showed me how to make their iconic um, bee sting pizza. Never heard of that. I know, it's gorgeous. So basically, it's genius. They have it with mozzarella, um, spicy salami, and then they finish it with honey. Oh my god! I know it's amazing, and Poppy, who is the head um, pizza maker there, she was so lovely. She taught me how to make it when we were there, and then also taught me because I've been dying to know how to. Do you know when you watch it in the movies, or you go to Italy and you can see them how they stretch out the dough with their hands? Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to get you Did to you do it. You learn how to do it. I learned how to do it, so now I'm going to teach you how okay. to do it. Okay. Okay. I'm so standing up. You want to just knock back your dough a little bit like that, and kind of make it into kind of a small kind of little round like that. And then that is so nice to do this too. Isn't it? It's just put like a little bit of flour in your hands. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. What did don't I do? Don't do that. Yeah, you're fine. It's okay. Oh. I shouldn't say don't do that. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, people. What, what did you, you do? <laughs> what did you do? No, because you were rolling it out. Um. So, what you want to do is so the first thing you want to do is make sure your fingers are clumped together like yeah. this, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to throw the pizza dough from one hand to the next hand and give it a good wallop, like, no, like that. And what does as, this do? And as you're doing it, you'll notice, and then just actually throw it, like, you'll notice that the dough is actually stretching. Fingers together. The, the, the actual dough stretches It is, actually. It, yeah, and it widens up. <laughs> and it all kind of stretches out like that. Do you see? Yeah. And you, you can even do it with a little bit with your fist as well. Oh. Throw it around like that to stretch it out a little bit more. Oh, yeah. But we want to give it a this really works. good welling. <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> and it just takes a little bit of time, but just keep doing it like that. And, until that's, it all and you, why out. is that better than, say, what Phil was or wasn't doing Well, earlier? I think that it keeps the air in it as well. So see on your pizza there, you've got that lovely kind of airy, crusty yeah. thing like that. It actually airs it out a lot more. Well, that's but very But you've got clever. to, like, wing it. I didn't know, I've never seen this happen. I know, I love it. And you get really into it. You're kind of like a little boxer kind of going back and forth. Oh so no. Like, every and time is I... that bad? No, that's brilliant. That's As in, absolutely like letting brilliant. it do that? Is that oh, yeah, a bad yeah. thing? Oh sorry, stretching it like this, yes. And then what you do then is you pop it onto your, do you mind didn't widen that much? Anyway. How do you stretch? How big has it got to be? A quite, well, quite... 12 foot. <laughs> 12 foot. I think you're both at it right now. I think that's quite good. OK. That's definitely good. And if you get a little bit holy, if yours gets a little bit holy, um, just ask it to say a prayer for you. No, just uh, <laughs> <laughs> pop it back on. But if you didn't want to make the dough, there yeah. are so many that you can actually get. Yeah, they're really good. In those, the supermarket. The frozen ones. The frozen ones Brilliant. are pretty good. But if you did want to make the dough at home, all it is is flour and yeast, and then you, the whole recipe is up on the app. But once it's got to this stage, right, I use a baking tray at home, but you could use a pizza stone. I'm going to show you that in a second. But you pop it on, and then um, Poppy from the pizzeria was telling me, you get your two fingers it's as if they were kitten's paws, or yeah. like um, cat paws, mm -hmm. and then you oh. just push it like this, and you want to keep pushing the dough out, and then twist it around, so it'll actually spread. Ooh, it'll spread out a little bit more. Yeah. And that you're actually getting a crust, so you don't want to press the oh. actual one inch to the edge. Sorry, I've that's done okay. That. You're so that you get a really lovely crust, crust, and so it becomes like a little bit mm, swollen little around kitten. the edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well done. That's brilliant. God, you did much better than my first yeah, attempt. Yeah, Phil's is amazing. Yeah, Phil's is brilliant. Mike keeps coming back. New career. Oh, even now <laughs> I got told off. And then <laughs> the next then <laughs> is the tomato base on it. Yeah. And all this is is passata that I've cooked on in a saucepan with a little bit of um, crushed garlic and olive oil. But you could use tin tomatoes and then just puree them all up. And then what you do then is just, you know, spoon it all the way around until just before, about an inch towards the edge, mm -hmm. because you want to keep this crust. Oh, it and smells I think, so good. Don't you think, like, especially like right now, don't you think it's like such a fun thing to do? I love with it. Family, at and it is a nice thing to do with it the kids because nice they actually can do. really just to go for it. You do yeah. have to make sure you 
flour the board because every time I do it and they get stuck. And then they get stuck. Can't get yeah. the thing off. Yeah, flour it really well before you put that. That's a really good. Or else you could even put grease oh, proof on. Salami or Now I've on. put this. This is called sopressato. It's a very spicy thin salami, but you could use chorizo and then just slice it very thinly, or any salami you want, any salami you want to. And then I put on fresh buffalo buffalo mozzarella mm, on the top my here. Goodness um, gracious. Which is so good. And then this goes into the hottest oven that you can possibly get your oven to go to. Um, so it which... doesn't matter that the, the, what's this called? The tray is not hot, you don't have to no, worry about it? No, it doesn't. No, I put it into the top one. I mean, you could go to the bother of heating up your tray and all the rest, but I don't. I get it the hottest it can be, and then I pop it into the very, very top, just for 10 minutes. And then the one down here, this is actually a pizza stone, which has to be heated up for about a half an hour beforehand. And then you use that. But I actually think that the, the, the baking tray works so well. You and don't then when need it, a pizza stone. You don't need a pizza stone. When it comes out, it looks like this. And then you put the lovely honey drizzled mm. all you know what? over I'm, it. I'm a little bit doubtful about the honey, but that really does make a lot of It does work, doesn't it? Why is that so good? I think it's the balance, what well, I think it is, the balance of the spiciness of the salami and then that sweetness of the honey. It's just such a good balance. And then some I'm fresh... really surprised too. I wasn't sure whether I was going to find it too sweet and be thinking, it's nice, but I probably wouldn't order it. I'd just go for a something else. standard whatever. Mm. But it's, that it's is so, so yummy. Really it's good. so good together. And it's so that's like, just 10 minutes. That's just 10 minutes in there. So it's quite a fast thing to do. Mm. And mm. actually, do you know what? We worked it out and it's actually much cheaper to make your own than to actually even buy them. And they are so much better. Mm. And you know what? There's something very kind of healing and therapeutic about making dough or working with dough. Just relaxes you. Everybody's feeling anxious right now. Mm -hmm. This is what we should be doing tonight, cooking at home. Absolutely you know, lovely, isn't it? Just, thank yeah, you. Absolutely delicious. Lovely. It is delicious. Mm. Yummy. Well, for details of today's recipe and more ideas from our chefs, please download the free This Morning app.